Hello everyone and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI with other applications. I am Tim Weinzeffel and in this video I am going to talk about integrating Power BI with Power Apps. Now if you are either new to Power Apps or not familiar with Power Apps, Power Apps is part of the overall Microsoft Power Platform along with Power BI and Power Automate and other applications. But what it allows you to do is actually create data, change data, delete data, and so forth. So if you think about Power BI, we use it for all of the uh, analysis and visualizing the data. Power Apps allows you to create that data or change that data. And then in my prior videos, and if you haven't checked them out, please do, I actually show how you can integrate with Power Automate, which allows you to automate tasks. So all three of them work very nicely together. And in this video, what I want to do is start uh, by and show you a couple of, or an example of why you would want to integrate a Power App into your Power BI report. Uh, then what I'll do in some future videos is actually drill more into the details and actually go, uh, show about how about go about doing it. But for this purposes of this video, I wanted to kind of show the, you know, why would you do it and the benefit? Because I think when people see that, they can really start to understand um, the capability that you can add to your report. So let's go ahead and jump to it now. If you're, again, if you're not familiar with Power, um, Power Apps, let me go ahead and just jump to the, um, this is the Power Apps homepage. Uh, you can certainly access this through the, um, you know, Microsoft 365. Um, we won't actually be doing that in this video, but this kind of gives an example of that. Now, when you go to create the app through Power BI, you'll actually do it all through the Power BI interface, just like when you create a flow in Power Automate. And I'll walk through all that in the next video. I'm gonna switch over now to a report that I have. And in this case, I have a very standard report of some sample projects, the project manager status and comments. Now, one of the things I find very common in a lot of day-to-day -day use is where you're capturing data or you're, you know, you're visualizing data and then you want to have capture commentary or notes or information about certain records. So what do you do, right? You, uh, you send around the, the report, you ask people to gather, you know, information, you know, give you comments. Maybe you track that information in Excel or maybe you, you track it in a SharePoint list or, you know, whatever. But what you end up having to do is capture that information to, um, you know, tied to your specific, your data. Now, in my case, I've got a simple SharePoint list here, but again, this could all be um, uh, data that's in an Excel spreadsheet or a SharePoint list or other data sources. Uh, but the common theme here is you have to capture information. So in this case, let's say I'm the project manager for this project called FixFlex, and I'm asked to provide comments, right? So I'm, I'm asked to provide information here for this column. So I have to go over to, let me jump to the, the list where I keep information. So I would jump over to here and I find my uh, my item and I'm going to go ahead here and let's go ahead and just add some comments. So I'll say this project is on track. And let's go ahead and save that. And now that is in my SharePoint list so that when jumping back to my report here, when I refresh this report, those comments will appear in the comment section. Now, that works fine. Um, it took me just a couple of you know seconds to do that, but I had to switch to another application. In my case, I had it filtered. I only had eight rows showing, so it was pretty easy. But what do you do when you run into situations where you've got uh, hundreds of rows? Maybe you're capturing information on a monthly basis, but then you're having to recapture it because um, you know, you're, not, you're not maintaining this information. So um, by adding a Power App, it'll allow you to do, do this much easier. Let me show you that. I'm gonna switch over here to a second page. Now, this is the um, same page, but what you'll notice is over here, I have this section that is said add comments app. So I've got an, a, a, an embedded power app right here. And you'll see here, it says you must select a single row to activate. Now I've, I've set that up and I will walk through that in the video to do that because right now, I'm displaying eight records. So you can see I've got eight records here. And what I wanna be able to do is go ahead and click on one. Let's say 
in that same situation. I want to change the status here of FixFlex. I'm going to click on it. You'll notice right away the Power app opened up. There is, it's already filtered. It's got the um, comp project name. I've got the status. I can actually change the status here. Um, let me go ahead and get out of that. I'll just, there you go. Oh, it looks like I, and you'll notice that I already have the comments that I just added a, a few seconds ago. Now it's not showing up again on this report because I haven't refreshed it yet, but let me go to the next one. Let's say I want to update this row. I've clicked on it. You'll notice that it's already changed to the other project. And I can go here and say this project is, is in trouble. I'll go ahead and hit edit record. And it's go ahead and done that. Now, again, it has not refreshed. I'd have to do that. But if I switch back up here to FixFlex, my app updates. And if I jump back, there it is. There's my data. So you'll see if I switch back to my report, what you're going to see is there is the two projects that I updated. So I have FixFlex here. You'll see this project is on track. And then here's the other one that I've updated as well. So the app is integrating with the data. Uh, real time, um, and it's all being embedded right here in my report. So there you have it. By embedding this app in the report, I'm allowed to change data. I could create new data and so on. So, and now in this case, I've got a very simple app and I've just got a couple of columns. What I will do in some upcoming videos is we're going to dig into the details of this, of how to go ahead and go about creating all this. I'll also show a couple of variations that I've used and really show the integration between um, you know, Power BI and Power Apps. And then when you tie in Power Automate, you're really going to start to add a lot more to your report. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, please subscribe. Please add any comments. Um, and again, I'm going to be having some more videos upcoming, digging deeper into this. So thank you for watching.